Bonjour élève. Comment allez-vous tous? J'espère que vous allez bien. Oh my god, what's happening? It has been long since we met Divya ma'am. So what's happening with her? What's wrong with her? Isn't she missing something? Oh my god, has she gone mad? No my dear children, I'm perfectly fine and I'm not mad at Okay? Not mad yet, okay? I'm fine. So you might be wondering, ma'am, what, what ma'am was talking in the beginning? What's happening? What's happening, right? Yes, today we are going to study a French novel. So I spoke in the beginning some French sentences like, how are you all? Good morning. I hope you all are fine. That's what I said in the beginning, okay? So today we are are going to learn or we are going to study a prose from your literature reader so please take your literature reader textbook and page number 47 are you ready yes we are going to study a french novel and it is very popular novel written by a popular writer alexandre dumas let's see alexandre dumas he is a French writer and he is a prolific writer and he's very very great man who whose writings were very famous during 18 uh, 1840s he, he wrote this particular novel in 1844 and his writings were loved by many or this particular novel has been read by thousands of people around that world around that time and this particular French novel is being translated into many different languages and in English also. You guys should read this novel. It is very fine and very good novel. All children like you can read. Okay. Both girls and boys who are very much interested in adventures and sword fighting and those adventurous kind of stories can prefer read this okay you know this particular novel is belonging to the genre where historical adventure historical adventure and this particular novel talks about the history of that french that french people during 18 uh not 18 1625 and during 1628 during that period how the French people were, how their state and courts were. These things are discussed in this particular novel. And guys, this is very big novel and you're not going to study the entire novel here. This prose item is having, is taken from that very big novel, only a short bit or a or short chapter, very short chapter that you are going to learn today or that you are going to listen to me today. Okay, are you ready? You're, you all like to know a French novel, right? Yes. So let's see. Let's read a French novel. Page number 47. The Three Musketeers and D'Artagnan. What's that? The Three Musketeers and D'Artagnan. Okay. It's a French name. So we must try to pronounce in that way. The Three Musketeers and D'Artagnan. Before moving into the novel or before moving into the prose, let's just warm up. Okay. Musketeers. What does it mean by the word musketeers? You might be wondering. Musketeer means a soldier armed with musket. And a member of a household troops of the French king in the 17th and 18th centuries. So he... The musketeer means a soldier who is holding the muskets. So you might be wondering what does that mean by the musket? It's actually a pistol. It's actually a gun used years back. These days you know very well the guns, right? Which is using, uh, which we used to shoot with bullets. We, we put bullets inside that gun and we shoot, right? Yes. But this musket is not... The used not at the time where we started using bullets but gunpowder 
they were using gunpowder at that time okay yes and that the person in your textbook you can see that he is holding a musket and also a sword he is also keeping a sword in his left hand and a musket in his right hand right yes why do we learn this particular chapter you know this chapter is very important about it talks about a friendship it talks about the three musketeers right yes and the last you can see this particular novel is set in 1625 to 1628 it is set in france in paris we can say and some part of the novel is set in england too but that part we cannot we, we do not have to study uh, so this novel is set in paris or we can say france okay this novel recounts me recalls recounts the adventures of a young man named dartagnan who is at dartagnan the text here shows how he is successful in befriending the three most formidable musketeers of, of the age to become a part of the french state and court so the story is talking about dartagnan how he is befriending the three formidable musketeers what do you mean by formidable not easy to defeat right yes so how he becoming successful in befriending our three musketeers befriending means getting into friendship okay it's not the opposite it's synonym for getting into friendship so are you ready here we go page number 47 and listen to me very carefully when i read because it's something which is very much frenchish right french so you must know how to read the names very well the three musketeers <clears throat> the three musketeers published in 1844 is a novel by the french novelist alexander dumas we said right yes it is published in 1844 In the novel, Athos, Porthos, Aramis are the king's three best musketeers. Who are they? Athos, Porthos, and Aramis. These three were the three musketeers of the king. D'Artagnan, a French villager, a countryman, we can say, a French villager. travels to paris with the ambition of becoming a musketeer in the army of king louis 13 so he is traveling towards paris to become a part of the three musketeers in the army of king louis the 13 right yes d'artagnan carries a letter of introduction to his father's friend monsieur monsieur means it's a minister in the french language monsieur or we can say monsieur or monsieur okay so d'artagnan is also carrying a letter of introduction to his father's friend minister is his father's friend monsieur de travel de travel that's the pronunciation monsieur de travel okay the captain of the king's musketeers who is he the minister who is he the captain of the king's musketeers there is three there are three musketeers and the minister is the captain of those three musketeers but on the way to paris d'artagnan is attacked and the letter of introduction is taken away from him what's happening oh my god what happened yes that letter of introduction went away right it was stolen or it was missing it was missing from him right yes it was all taken away by something while in paris the tagman sees the person who had robbed him and chases him what's happening yes the tagman so um the man who robbed this um things and 
he started to chase him he started to chase that person in paris on his way he rudely bumps into an already injured athos he then gets into arguments with both porthos and aramis the three musketeers challenge him to individual duels individual has two pronunciation individual and individual okay it's but individual is not applicable these days individual okay so what's happening yes he was chasing that man who robbed his things and while he was running what happened he bumps into he lightly lightly uh, blow or at least he torn who athos one of the musketeers right yes and what's happening atho is already injured because he is having some injuries in his body they gets into arguments they get into some kind of troubles right yes they started to argue with both porthos and aramis this is how the story is going and uh, the three musketeers challenge him the individual duels they start to fight right read to find out how d'artagnan wins over the three musketeers so let's see how our d'artagnan is um, winning over these three people and getting into friendship let's see i know it's 12 minutes already you guys are having only two classes in a week and it's so difficult to complete our portions so bear with me we we should take a little bit more okay 15 minutes okay yes so who all are the characters athos porthos aramis d'artagnan and diuzac diuzac jussac we feel like reading jussac but it is not jussac it is diuzac okay athos who is suffering from a wound is sitting in the convent and waiting for the tagnan with his hat in hand the feather touching the ground the tagnan enters and walks towards athos what's happening here yes athos is is having an injury is having a wound right and he is sitting and he is waiting for whom our tagnan right yes with his hat in his he is keeping his hand in ha and hand in his hat in his hand and you know these people these musketeers are used to wear a kind of dress it's kind of dress uh, which you can see i'll show you the picture in the, in the live session okay or you can google that kind of dress or here in this picture you can see they are wearing a different kind sort of dress with a certain kind of hat in his head right yes though so they are waiting for our duck type nan then what's happening yes dr nan endures and walks in and walks towards whom athos athos nasio i have engaged two of my friends as seconds but these two friends have not yet come at which i am astonished as it is not at all like them so what does it mean so let's see what is seconds here seconds means people trusted by those fighting duels they negotiate to set the rules and try to avoid bloodshed and death they will negotiate right yes so athos is actually speaking to the minister i have engaged two of my friends two of his friends who are they porthos and aram aramis as seconds seconds means here means yes get into duel fight right yes but these two friends have not yet come where are they at which i am astonished as it is not at all like them they never used to be like this i am waiting for them then dartagnan i have no seconds on my part monsieur for having arrived only yesterday in paris i do not know anyone but monsieur de travel to whom i was recommended by my father de travel yes so
So that third man is entering and he is saying that I have no seconds on my part, minister, for having arrived only yesterday in Paris. I just arrived yesterday in Paris and I don't know anyone except our monsieur, Dave Travel. Dave Travel? Day travel, okay, day travel. Except day travel, I don't know anyone here to whom I was recommended to go by my father. Athos, you know no one but Monsieur de Travel. You don't know anyone but Monsieur de Travel. He is asking Athos. Then that Tegna. Yes, Monsieur, I know only him. Athos, well. Then if I kill you, I shall be known as one who killed a helpless boy. It's just taking like that. That pregnant. Not too much, since you do me the honor of drawing a sword with me while suffering from a wound which is very inconvenient. You are still suffering from a pain. You are still having a pain or a wound and you want to fight with me. That is which is, which is very inconvenient. Athos. So he is very skillfully. He is talking to Athos, right? Yes. Our dark red man. He is very good character. We feel so, right? Yes. Athos. Very inconvenient. Upon my word. But I will take the left hand. Yes. He, his right hand is got wound. So he is telling, I'll use the, my left hand. It is my custom in such circumstances. So, in such circumstances, I use my left hand. Don't think that I do you a favor. I can use both hands with ease. And it will be more of a disadvantage to you. A left-handed man is very troublesome to people who are not prepared for it. I regret I did not inform you sooner of this circumstance. So, in a funny way, Athos is also saying that and on this circumstances, I used to fight with my left hand. But I'm so sorry that I did not inform you earlier or prior to the fight, right? That me. You have truly, Monsieur, a courtesy for which I assure you. I am very grateful. Athos, you confuse me. So, that Tegnan is saying something different. So, our Athos is saying, you confuse me. Let us talk some of something else. Let us talk of something else, if you please. Ah, here is one of them, I believe. Then, let's, Athos is saying, let's talk something else. Then who is entering? Porthos. Porthos is entering. Tetagnan. What? Is your first witness, Monsieur Porthos? Athos. Yes. Does the disturb you? Does that disturb you? Tetagnan. By no means. Then, who is entering? Aramis is entering. Then Athos is saying, and here is the second. Here is the second. That Tegnan turns in the direction in which Athos points and sees Aramis. So, he is looking at Aramis. That Tegnan, what? Your second witness is Monsieur Aramis? Athos, doubtless. Are you not aware that we are never seen one without the others and that we are called among the musketeers and guards at court in the city, Athos, Porthos and Aramis, or the three inseparables? Well, as you come from Dax and Paul, um, that Tegman says, from Tarbs, he is selling, it's actually very nice, right? Yes. We are enjoying what's happening. The, the, the discussion between these two people are very, very nice, right? Yes. So you must read, okay? So Athos, it is probable you are ignorant of this little fact. It's sure that you are very ignorant about this fact that we pe three people are very good friends and inseparable. You cannot see one or these three inseparately. All three will be there all the time. Porthos. Ha ha. What does this mean? So, in the meantime, Porthos has come up and looks quite astonished to see the turbulence. 
Athos, pointing to D'Artagnan with his hand and saluting him with the same gesture. This is the gentleman I am going to fight with. Huh? Porthos, why? It is with him I am also going to fight. My car. D'Artagnan, but not before one o'clock. D'Artagnan is saying that, but not before one o'clock. So, it's actually funny, right? Yes. Aramis, and I am going to fight with this gentleman as well. Oh my God, the D'Artagnan, but not until two o'clock, but not until two o'clock. Then Aramis, what, what are you going to fight about, Athos? Athos is saying, well, I don't very well know. He hurt my shoulder and you, Porthos. Then Porthos, I am going to fight because I am going to fight. D'Artagnan, smiling slyly, we had a short discussion upon dress. We had a short discussion upon dress. Why he is saying something which is very different from what they were discussing. Athos, and you, Aramis? Aramis, making a sigh. D'Artagnan, to keep secret the cause of their duels. Oh, ours is a theological quarrel. Theological, what does it mean by theological? It says religious, religious belief. Okay, Athos, saying D'Artagnan, smiling again. Indeed. D'Artagnan, yes. A passage of St. Augustine upon which we could not agree. They were arguing, right? Yes. About what? At St. Augustine. St. Augustine. They are talking about St. Augustine upon which they had an argument, right? Yes. Athos, decidedly, this is a clever fellow. So Athos feeling that D'Artagnan is actually a clever fellow. He feels like that, right? Yes. D'Artagnan. And now that you are a simple gentleman, permit me to offer you my apologies. So he is telling that, uh, please let me uh, uh, tell my apologies to both, three of you. He is very cunningly, very intelligently, very, um, very fun, in a very fun way he is approaching everything, right? He is not afraid of anything. He is dealing the things in a very different way. He's very intelligent man. We understand from that. At the word apologies, Athos looks angry. Porthos gives a haughty smile. Haughty smile and Aramis shakes his head. Here we stop and uh, what's happening in the story next, we will discuss in our next class. Okay, so what's your homework? You all must read this chapter twice, okay? So... Let's see in the live session. Till then, my dears, take care and try to learn a bit of French when you are free. Okay.